Fantasy Island is a place that you are able to physically go to where your dreams can become a reality. You get one wish and the only rule is that once you, once you make your wish or tell your wish, um, you have to follow your fantasy through to the end. Well, they won a contest, and so there's sort of a little bit of a mystery around how that happened. Um, and I guess once the contest is won, you know, they're promised this private trip to the island, and it is. It's a small, it's a little small sort of propeller plane, and it lands in this beautiful place, and they all think, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened, not knowing that um, the things that they're going to be wishing for are going to dig up something much deeper. Mr. Rourke is... Uh, in my words, I, I, I see him as a puppet master. So you come and you think he's really your host, which sounds pretty innocent, right? You know, the man who greets you, the man who says, hey, what is it you're looking for? And it all sort of seems on the up and up, kind of. But from go, you sort of realize that there's something a little dark about this man and something almost sinister about what he might be playing at. The two rules are um, you get one fantasy, and the second rule is once you've chosen your fantasy, you have to see that fantasy through all the way to the end. I enjoyed this cast so much. I can't even tell you. It was just, um, we really became a family because we started the, the movie on a cruise ship when we were filming on the island. And so we all had this very intense amount of time together in this very small space. And it, and it created, I think, a bond that we're going to have for a very long time. And I've seen all of the cast members, every single one of them since. And um, it's like nothing's changed, you know? And it's like when you build that bond, you have it forever. It's a real gift. Well, Jeff is a... You know, he's different because he's a content creator and he's a director. So that's not a, a combo you find much. It's very special. He wrote the script with his writing partners, um, Chris and Jill, who are amazing as well. And so you sort of had, he wrote it with their support and they kind of, you know, made this story happen together. But what's nice about being on a set with a director like this is that Jeff never, he never didn't, understand where my questions were coming from or anyone's questions are coming from and he never didn't have an answer you know a lot of times directors are guessing what the writer may have been thinking uh, they're going around sort of what it is that they that you're asking for that they may not want to give you whereas if i had confusion on anything or i needed some clarity or or a change I could genuinely sit into him down and say, hey, listen, you know, this concerns me for these reasons. And he'll say, understood, here's where I came from. And he can say that because he created it. And so if I thought the answer was, is, was good enough or substantial enough to support what it is that I was concerned about, then no changes need to be made. And I think that, you know, working with him, it was, it was really a kind of a complete process. You know, we could go through the entire question mark and end in a place that made sense for everyone that you just don't always get. And so I think every actor created that bond with him in a way because he was, he was always listening and he always took your concerns seriously. Seriously, and, and that was, it's really comforting to have that kind of support. I mean, it is a Blumhouse movie and it, it had to have a scary element to it. There's a supernatural element, there's a thrilling element, blah, blah, blah. So we have all of those things and those things are all very entertaining. So you, I think you'd go into a movie like this expecting to be just flat out entertained, but I think you really are gonna feel things for these people. And I think that there isn't one character that you're not going to be able to relate to, or even if you relate it to only one, there's at least one that you, you will feel something for, for your own reasons. Let's start with the fact that we have fans of the show, which is great, which is obviously an older audience. Uh, and then you have fans who remember the show because of the generation right before them. So it's, it's, in, the, it's in their heads, you know, they, they have a familiarity with the name. And then the rest of the people are just people who have no clue what it is and have never heard the term before. And so I think that across the board, we've owed properly kind of to, to, the, to the property that existed. And then I think that within that world, we created something that's, that's new. So whether you know it or not, you don't need to have that familiarity with the title to be able to enjoy what it is that we've created.